for today's creature feature. Ooh. Let's fall right into it. 1260 Briar Cliff Road, right here on the east side of downtown Atlanta. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. Speaking of first times, it is my very first time visiting the town of Hawkins, Indiana from Stranger Things. You're looking at the Hawkins Laboratory, the filming location, predominantly used in season one. This is the exterior location. If you look over here, gotta move over, you can see the buildings from downtown Atlanta. That building right there sits on Peachtree. I remember that from Dragon Con. Didn't realize how close the Stranger Things filming location was to downtown until right now. The freaking Hawkins Laboratory. I can't believe I'm finally here. The upside down was secretly underneath. Eleven was held captive there. So cool. Now this building looks like it's still being utilized for something, but I'm not so sure. There is a rumor that it's going to be torn down soon. Filming location gone forever. So I'm glad we got out here to see it. Now it looks like there might be like a security guard driving around. Can't get too close to it, but this is this is close enough. I will put some screenshots from Stranger Things down the lower right hand corner. You can make out the same building then and now. Looks like most of the scenes were filmed either to the left or to the right. And also ironically, I heard that this building at one point was a mental institution. If you're looking for Hawkins Lab, it is on the property of Emory University, Briarcliff. There's the address again right there. And now we come to the Little Five Points neighborhood of Atlanta, Georgia in front of this Variety Theater. No, this is not a filming location to Stranger Things. I just thought it looked cool. And it happened to be next to Java Lord's Coffee. And as we know from Stranger Things, mornings are for coffee in contemplation we must begin also we need our coffee java lords chris the girl and i have to begin with some java every morning we can't go without it right nope. not happening they've got some killer cool coffee in here i see this lazarus cup wake you from the dead six shots of espresso the steamed half and half taking a look around the place this place is right up our alley rock and roll and horror like the guitars over here okay let's actually begin this video Cheers. Cheers. Java Lords. Check him out. I am Tampa J, and this is Chris the Girl, my beautiful fiance. We are back at it again right here in Atlanta, Georgia, bringing you the filming locations of Hawkins, Indiana. Stranger Things. If you clicked on this video, odds are, like us, you're a huge fan of the series. And this is a long time coming. I've done many filming locations. Uh, everywhere, specifically in Atlanta, but I have not shown these locations before or seen them with my own two eyes. I've actually been to a couple filming locations before as far as Stranger Things, but none of the ones you will see today. Specifically going to show Hawkins, Indiana, the fictional town where Stranger Things took place. We're going to go to the school, we're going to go to the grocery, we're going to go to the police station. I'll just leave it right there. We're going to go to several iconic spots that you see throughout every season of Stranger Things. Now, I want to put I want to start out. I'm going to say a lot here. I grew up as a boy. I was born in Indiana and I love horror. So this this really hit home when it first came out. I'm a, you know, being from the 80s, it was a very nostalgic show and I and I think it hit a lot of heartstrings out there. People who can relate, perhaps people who are watching now. I think that's why this show is so huge. It's of an era and a time and a subject matter that we all can relate to. And that's why I love it. I know you love the show too as well. I do, yeah. We watched the last season together to its entirety. We were blown away. Season four was awesome. It was the scariest yet. It was really kind of like a, a Hellraiser type Nightmare on Elm Street thing going on there, which again, adds to why we love this show. And it, that's part of the biggest reason why we're creating this video today. We also have to be home at work tomorrow. Both of us work south back down there in Florida so this is the perfect thing to do along the way a lot of these locations are on the side of the road and they're all around Atlanta in south there there's gonna be a lot of miles today you may not see the windshield time in the video but we're gonna be we're gonna be traveling and then the ultimate goal today is to get us to Bucky's Bucky's we're gonna pick some things up at Bucky's south of the location so 
thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this uh, presentation. Our my first time, our first time visiting Hawkins, Indiana. Stranger things ahead, much ahead. Train! Check this out. This train's coming through as we stop at our next Stranger Things filming location in Douglasville, Georgia. We're about 25 minutes outside of Atlanta via I-20 right here in Douglasville. I've been here before, years ago, before Stranger Things came out. I played a show right here in downtown Douglasville with my band. Never did anyone know that one day, right down the street, now this is the side portion, that the video arcade and the family video from Stranger Things would be here. 6501 Church Street, Douglasville. This is where the sign was, the arcade sign that you saw in Stranger Things. No longer there. You remember that? That's where it was. And also, over there, on the end, we'll get there in a second, but that's where Family Video was. Now, Family Video, if you did not know this, if you did not grow up in the Midwest, Family Video was actually a real video store. And I used to go there and rent tapes when I was a kid, specifically when I was in high school. I believe they had them in Ohio too, but that was a real thing. You probably didn't know that if you didn't grow up in those areas. I'm wearing my hometown t-shirt, Newcastle, Indiana, where I was born and raised actually I was raised in New Palestine, Indiana, Greenfield, and Newcastle. I spent a lot of time here. That's where my mom lives. We've been there before. We have. I had to wear this shirt today, you know, paying homage. It's along the subject matter. Little town, Indiana. Hawkins, Indiana. Hawkins is not a real place in Indiana. It's a fictional town. There is a Hawkinsville, I think, but not a Hawkins. That is a made up town, not a real place. So we're approaching, noticing Someone has stenciled Stranger Things right here on the wood here. Check this out. We're gonna have to take a photo there. And I don't know if they filmed in here. We're gonna take a peek inside. Oh, they may have. Look at the floor. And check it out. They definitely filmed in here. The blue ceiling, the tile, the walls, the floor. And I didn't realize that you can actually walk straight into the video store. Although I don't know if they appeal to that in the series, but there's family video right there across the way. It looks like fans have signed their names all along the front here. Samantha over here was here not too long ago, actually back in April. Someone wrote, uh, rest in peace, Eddie. Uh, someone from Kentucky. It looks like all the way down. Also, rest in peace, Billy. That's funny. Dustin forever. Dustin forever? In a year, come back. Um, Max is the. Oh, right there, Max is. Max is the she. <laughs> Rip Eddie. Is there any Barb here? Barb never gets any love. There's got to be a Barb here. And rest in peace uh, to the cat too. Oh, the poor cat. Muse, right? I think so. Whatever the cat's name was. Someone must have took a similar tour as we're doing today. Stranger Things tour 2022. Holy cow, it's still there. Look, someone filled it in, a fan filled it in, but family video. Again, Newcastle, Indiana was the family video I used to rent uh, videos. I remember the first time I watched Jason X, I rented it at family video, Friday the 13th. All right, you see that tile? That is some very like 50s tile in there. So I don't know, I don't think they filmed the video store in here, yeah. This is the family video. We'll step back and show you some screenshots. Came across Church Street so you can get the entire building into frame. This current uh, location, vacant, abandoned, as far as Stranger Things. I'm sure they may or may not utilize this building again. I don't know. We'll see. They say that the next season is the final season. But you never know. They could have come back here for season five. They could have filmed more stuff in here. I'll toss a screenshot into frame. So you can see family video, the exterior shot. Don't think they filmed the interior scene in there just because it looks very dusty in there. I do think they filmed in the arcade though. I believe the first time you see the arcade is in season two and the boys come up on their bicycles about right there in that location. You can make out the awning, everything. The sign would have been there. About right here, I'll put a screenshot into frame. I believe this is season two 
Also, I'll put it down in the lower right hand corner so you can kind of focus there. But this is it. And this is where the boys pulled up on their bicycles and you were saying... When Billy uh, rolls around much like that loud car. Yeah, it sounds like Billy. And uh, drops off Max at the arcade and she... That's right, that's yeah. right. Oh my gosh. Flips him off. off. That was right here, season two. Yeah. Totally missed this the first time. Look, someone drew a Demogorgon. Looks like they did it with Crayon. And can't make out their name there, but shout out to the artist. You can't really see, oh, there you go. Always the GD babysitter. Someone wrote Steve's quote there. Someone loves Eddie Munson. I think everyone loves Eddie Munson. You were saying you think this used to be like a car dealership? I, that's what I'm guessing because of like the shed there has like the garage door sort of thing and mm -hmm. then the awning over here is definitely big enough for a car to come in. So I'm, that's my guess. That's a good guess. I think so too, yeah. It looks like an old car dealership. And I have to point out before we leave at the top of the hill right here in Douglasville, right behind the arcade, there's a Pelican Snowball. I thought those were just home to Plant City, Florida, but no, they have them up here in Douglasville, in Georgia. Those are some great snowballs. They set up every year at Sir Henry's Haunted Trail. Look at that. And now on the other side of Douglasville, right here on Courthouse Street, actually right over here, this building might look familiar to you. Looks totally different today. But this is the Hawkins, Indiana Police Station. Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. One of my favorite quotes from the very first episode of Stranger Things, Hopper, the sheriff, doesn't want to be bothered. He just wants to have his coffee and his contemplation, which I wholeheartedly agree. I'm that person in the morning. I have to have coffee first. So that always stuck with me. And of course, that's why we started with coffee this morning back at Java Lords. Welcome to the filming location, the police station from Stranger Things. Hawkins PD. Courthouse Square and Church Street. So we're still on Church Street. Two filming locations on Church Street in Douglasville. Now, some of you are saying, are you sure this is the police station? And that might be because they've totally remodeled this place. Totally remodeled it. It looks so much different than it did in Stranger Things. So I backed up across the street so you can see this a little better. I've got the then screenshot in the lower right hand corner the flagpoles in the same position the windows the door and in the screenshot hopper's police vehicle which looks a lot like chief brody's vehicle in jaws hey also the police uniforms mimic the jaws police uniforms i don't know if anyone's ever put that together but that was intentional but hopper's vehicle is parked right there in that present day uh handicap spot in front of the door and that's where he walks into the police station. Seen it multiple times throughout Stranger Things. Very cool. Only two locations for Stranger Things right here in Douglasville. The rest, we're heading south. These are spread out all over the Atlanta area. So cool to be here at the police station. This is one of my favorites. Hawkins, Indiana Police. So cool. Beautiful. Watch ahead. And for our next Stranger Things filming location, we come south. We drove about 30 minutes south from Douglasville, starting right here, establishing this next location. This isn't it. Just thought this looked cool. This old water tower. Welcome to Palmetto, Georgia. This factory looks to be vacant. We're gonna grab some food. We found a place on the map to grab food here in Palmetto, and then we'll head to the next location. It's 12.30 p.m. on this Sunday. And we're hungry, it's lunchtime. Old relic there on the side of the road here in Palmetto. That must have been an old general store, that's my guess. Oh, they're also decorated for the holidays. Classic candle, tinsel candle. Now that reminds me of a town in Indiana right there. Always, every Christmas, all the way down Main Street. Chris found this place, 613 Main Restaurant and Coffee Bar, it'll do. Also, I noticed we noticed on the window, it says they are selling Thanksgiving dinner. You can cater it and take it home. It looks like 60 bucks for a whole feast. It's the way to do it, honestly. Right? It's really the way to do I've it. I've done that a lot, especially when it was just me and my parents. Mm -hmm. Boston Market, Publix, Thanksgiving. So we're doing this. Yeah, we're doing it again. Publix turkey. And there you go, Thanksgiving dinner prepared here. Make sure you pick it up on Wednesday. 
This looks like it used to be a house. This is a cool spot to eat. Just showing it here. We're gonna eat outside because it's so nice. Some picnic tables out the window. Real Georgia sweet tea. Mm -hmm. I haven't tasted it. It's really good. Yeah. Sweet, this huh? This is a sweet tea, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dude, that, that is good. Yeah. Really sweet. <laughs> it is sweet. This looks fantastic. It sure does. Breakfast food. Breakfast only here on, on Sundays. Sundays. This is all homemade. That's a homemade biscuit right there. I'm gonna indulge and you got what? A breakfast sandwich, egg and cheese. Y yummy. You know what I, f I didn't do? I should have took advantage of this opportunity, missed opportunity. I should have got waffles because the filming location to Stranger Things right here in Palmetto in the morning, we're having waffles. Oh, oh. My gosh. is it good? Dude, oh, the potatoes? Good. Okay. Crap. This is gonna be scrumptious. Forget I said waffles. And back to the locations. Literally, like, less than a quarter of a mile down the street here in Palmetto. Took a right and down the hill. Welcome to Bradley's Groceries. Now a Piggly Wiggly. This is the grocery store where Eleven bought the waffles. Filmed inside and outside. And I don't know if this is the screenshot from the actual show, but I found it online. That is the makeup, the mock-up of the grocery store as it looked during the time of the filming. Nothing has changed really. Maybe a few uh, signs have changed and the paint, that's it. Same thing. Well, it's Piggly Wiggly now. I don't think I've ever been in a Piggly Wiggly. How about you? I have, yeah. You have? Mm -hmm. This is my first time. This is a Piggly Wiggly Express. Express, okay, we'll see what this is like. All right, Chris is gonna be 11. All right, got the waffles. You can make out the railing and the awning, the yellow behind you, the curb, but this is where she walks right out. Also gonna put the screenshot into play, of course. There you go, good job. You don't like waffles either, do you? I don't. No. I'm not really a waffles I fan. Yeah. I, I, I like, it just has to be a, they're more like a dessert to me than a breakfast. Okay, this is definitely it. So cool. We're gonna try to figure out where exactly she got the egos. Maybe they, yeah, they have to sell it there, right? And Chris was pointing out that there's a lot of history in here as far as uh, Palmetto Athletics. Got all these Letterman jackets. Trying to find the spot. Now I found it without finding it. See the letters D A over here? Well, look at this. D A. So 11, Millie Bobby Brown. I believe her name is, was standing right here getting the waffles reverse angle. Oh, there's there's waffles in there. Right there. <laughs> Lego my ego. This is where Eleven was standing. That's cool. That is really neat. Also, they got Jimmy Dean country sausage. I'm gonna back up to put it in perspective. Actually, I think the waffles have shifted. It looks like she's closing like the fourth door here instead of the first one so i think i think they were actually like right in here but yeah right in that area almost the same spot and now a little then and now action we're going to actually create the shot here remember the d and a so i'm going to use that to kind of recreate the shot there I'm actually going to back up just a little bit about right there one two three four or maybe the fifth like Chris said, just right in there somewhere. Right down there in the lower right hand corner. Lego my ego. All shirts, $18.99, look. That's so cool. The stranger things happen. Oh, the strangest things yeah. happen at Bradley's Big Buy. It's cool that they're yeah. bringing it on here. That's awesome. I kind of just like want the Piggly Wiggly shirt. It's pretty cool. There he is right there. All right, Chris found something over here. We're about to walk out. Check this out. All the way down the row, we got Barb up here, autographed picture of Barb. We've got all Stranger Things memorabilia. There's the Monopoly game. Now, that could be right there. That could be one of the Egos, screen used. I'm gonna say so. I'm gonna go out on a limb. That's probably a screen used box right there. Good eye, Chris. I almost missed this. There's the Pez. There's an advertisement from the show. Also, check this out. Wrestlers. 
Backstage Pass, FWD, I don't know anything about that. Florida Wrestling Dystopia. I should know, it's, it's Florida. I'm not gonna get a Nago, but I'm definitely getting my favorite holiday snack here. The, oh! That just went down. We were told that there's a Stranger Things log book that you can sign behind the counter, so we're about to sign it. How old is this book? Probably older than me. Since, since it was filmed, 2016. That's it. amazing. Oh, fresh page for us. I'm noticing how many pages there are. There's over a hundred yeah. pages, at least. People from all over the world. I bet. Europe. Such a good show. Mm -hmm. We got a couple from France. France? They come from France. Awesome. You did it. Check out Tampa Jay's YouTube. Oh, okay. I like it. I plugged it. All right. I didn't get the waffles. But I got the Christmas tree, little Debbie style. They were definitely not mouth breeders in there. They were all very cool. And a quick stop. We caught this out of the corner of our eyes. Welcome to Trillith Studios. Can't go beyond this gate. We're warned not to encroach. But this is where they filmed a majority of the latest Marvel productions. We're talking about Loki. We're talking about Captain Marvel. You name it, Guardian of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This is Trillis Studios. You can see back there some of the studios. I'll zoom in in a moment. Up on the hill, there's studios. Old barn here too, at the corner of the property. And then across the way, the Trillis Studios guest houses. There's like a little city and a coffee shop up there. This is probably where a lot of the actors stayed during those productions. Yeah, major Marvel Studios right out here below Atlanta. This is cool, I just had to show you this. There's nothing going on out here. There's probably a ton of sets back there. Tons of sets, not just the studios. There you go, zoomed in. That's building 12 and 14, and then you have Studio 17 and 18. Super sick, I had to stop and show this. And 109 South Lee Street, Stock Bridge, Georgia. I don't think I, if you're reading the screen right now, I think you know where I'm at. Welcome to Hawkins High School, home of the Tigers. Also, the filming location for Hawkins Middle School. They just changed it a bit. This whole entire building, I believe, inside and outside, is the filming location. If you go down to the right, down here, we can't go too far because I, I see some no trespassing signs, like more specifically down over there. This is the school, guys. This is incredible. Holy cow, I remember specifically season two when the boys came in their Ghostbusters uniforms. Ghostbusters, my all time favorite movie. Season two took place in 1984, so they were wearing the Ghostbusters uniforms on Halloween. This is legit. I'm gonna place a screenshot in the lower right. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see where this is. Check this out. Way down there, that door down there, there's a screenshot. That's the entrance to Hawkins High. So all of the high school scenes that you saw filmed were filmed right down in there. Home of the Tigers. Those giant like HVAC boxes on top of the roof. Those are the dead giveaway in front of the door. You can see those. Those would be to the right of the sign here today of Hawkins High School above that door down the hill. The sun is bursting like right over the high school so it's hard to get it without. There you go. Good old JJ Abrams sunburst for you. Sun's at the wrong level. There, that's a little better. That is so cool. Finally made it here. Took me about eight years. <laughs> Former Hawkins Middle School, now high school. I did it again. I was I meant to take a picture. If you take a screenshot, it'll last longer. We're at Hawkins. Did you get it? Okay, now I'll, I'll stop the filming and take the picture. Go Tigers. Hey, you're a tiger. I am. Okay, a little correlation here. Graduated at Coco High, home of the Tigers. This town, this, this school is in Henry County, Georgia. I went to high school, Indiana, Newcastle Trojans in Henry County. So, there you go. huge correlation right there. It works. Strange, isn't it? 
So now we're rolling into Jackson, Georgia. This should start looking familiar to you. This is the downtown square of Hawkins, Indiana and Stranger Things. Actually, nothing right here, but we're coming up on it. The courthouse specifically right there on the left, starting to peak right here at the corner of Oak. You see that? Stranger Things happen at Roots Outdoors. That's so cool. Wow. I say we uh, came at the perfect time of day. Look at the sunlight, the evening sun hitting the Hawkins courthouse. That should look familiar. We're going to park quite a few things to see right here in downtown Jackson. Dude, Surfer Boy Pizza, Hawkins headquarters. Wow, look at that. Now, Surfer Boy Pizza was actually in New Mexico. The real location for Surfer Boy Pizza, Argyle's Pizza Shop, was there. But this is cool. This actually looks like the screen used van. Hey, I'm driving a Volkswagen today too. There you go. Look at that. That's so cool. I don't know if it's screen used, but it, it really looks like it. I just got hungry for pizza too. In the window, they've got some cassette tapes Billy Joel, U2, Dan Fogelberg. Stevie Winward, Steve Winward, welcome to Hawkins headquarters. Now I wonder if these Christmas lights are here year round or if they're screen used Christmas lights from Joyce and Will's house. You know what I'm talking about, right? This is so cool. Also Hellfire Club door right there. Enter the upside down, okay. Surfer Boy Pizza, okay. Before we go in, just wanna show this. They have walking tours for Stranger Things. There you go, strangertours.com, okay. There is a lot of cool stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Check this out. Payphone from Stranger Things. Radio Shack sign. Radios. Holy cow. Okay, so most everything in here I asked is just replica. It's not screen used, but still pretty cool. Also, Back to the Future, the Terminator. They've got, oh, they got the Goonies playing. Man, I used to have a TV just like that. So many Stranger Things t-shirts. Dude, I hear a sound from my childhood over here. Super Mario 3, what? On Commodore? <laughs> oh really? Yeah, look, I got the Nintendo set up right there. I don't recognize this guy. Oh wait, it's Eddie. He just looks totally different with short hair. Right, Steve? You look a little different too. I'm not, oh, Eddie's back there. Metallica. Not only do they have t-shirts here, but they have costumes for Stranger Things. Look at that. Oh, Hopper's, uh, yeah. So you can get costumes. There's the robe, Eleven's robe. Got a keychain, dice keychain, stickers. We've got pencil bags. We were just at the high school. Roomscapes, more bags down here. You ever wanted to know what Eddie smells like? Eddie Munson Candle. I think a lot, of, a lot of people out there, a lot of women out there want to know what it is. Well, you can buy it right here. It you know, good. smells so good, I dropped my phone. Yeah. See? Remote control Surfer Boy Pizza Mobile. Comes with a little remote. Bowls, cups, toys. Ooh, I see my favorite over here, Ghostbusters. Got Ghostbusters merchandise. We've got like an upside down tree. We've got posters. we got pops. We've got Reese, Holiday Reese there. Oh, those are handmade. You can even purchase Millie Bobby Brown's book, 19 Steps in here. This is a cool shirt, Hawkins, Indiana, 85. There's also a blue one over here. Got the boys on the bicycles. Surfer Boy Pizza. And of course they have the Hellfire Club baseball tees. Gotta have these. And if you're growing up in Indiana, you didn't have a copy of Hoosiers. You were rare, I'm just gonna say that. I, I have all these tapes, by the way. All of them, absolutely all of them. And now it's time to actually check out the Hawkins filming locations, right around here. Here comes our walking tour. All right, there we were, Hawkins headquarters. We're gonna make our way around the square here. Chris just pointed out, there's Hopper's police truck right there. Okay, check it. Even has an Indiana license plate on the front sits right in front of the Hawkins Library. Check this out. I can remember uh, Jonathan coming out of here, I think. Also Hopper. 
Whoa. This is the Butts County Courthouse slash Welcome Center, but Hawkins Library. Look at that. It's Chief Hoffer's truck. That is so good. Oh, his shirt's in the back too. In the back window, Hawkins Police. Oh, it even says Hopper right there. That's fantastic. I don't know whose vehicle this is, but really good job. For all I know, it's the one from the show. That's insane. And there you go, Hawkins Public Library. If I can find a screenshot, which I will, I'll put it in the lower right hand corner to match this up for you. Right there. Got it. K5 Blazer, by the way, in case you wanted to know. Right over here, Jack's Escape Games in the font of Stranger Things. I believe that is the filming location for the Radio Shack. It is a now, it is? Oh, Chris is saying it is. She's confirming. There must be a sign over there. Let's go take a look. Well, look at that. Dead giveaway. Yeah. It got like a geocache thing here. You got a QR code. If you take a screenshot, check this out. Also, if you look right inside, there's an awesome photo opportunity of Joyce's house. Welcome to Radio Shack. Now, coming from small town Indiana, that was the, Radio Shack was a, a serious, Thing in the you know in the 80s and the early 90s even they more so moved to the malls in the 90s but if you needed something electronic you went to Radio Shack and and nine times out of ten they had it or they ordered it for you and here's like the lobby for the escape room you got the photo opportunity and also over here is another gift shop full of goodies there's a Hawkins Police Department t-shirt of there it looks pretty cool and as we're heading to the next filming locations they said that they have rooms they even have a 15 minute express room one room is themed to Hopper's cabin seems like all the rooms are themed towards different scenes from Stranger Things very cool maybe next time we're just kind of passing through quickly but check them out right there I'm just gonna point them out as they come right here on the corner Bradley's Old Tavern that was Hawk Theater. They put a marquee on the front there. We're gonna get a little closer. Also, I see a little memento back here to the Hawk Theater and the alleyway. That might be the alleyway from one of the filming locations. Gonna get a little closer so you can see it. It's kind of in the shadows, but right up here, they placed a mock marquee. And if you remember when Steve is on the ladder, they had uh, spray painted Basically something bad about Nancy Wheeler. All right, here you go. That's a little better. You can make out some of the windows. You can definitely make out the green paint, but that marquee was nicely made. And it's very tiny if you watch the show, but it was placed right here. Steve is up on the ladder. I'll put the shot in the lower right, but this is the Hawk Theater. Who knew it was a town tavern? Pretty nice looking place too. There you go, follow along at home. Just like Radio Shack. Hawk movie theater. It's not gonna be hard to find the locations today. We're just gonna look for these. They've got a Stranger Things menu. Yeah. Drink things, the upside down, never ending story. They got something called the Hopper. Demogorgon blood, virgin Demogorgon blood. I wonder what the difference of that is. Hmm, oh. One has alcohol and, and one, one doesn't. I gotta go back to high school. Check this out, Bradley's. Since 1827, that's a long time ago. That's older than the city of Tampa. I did see a sign on the way in that said Jackson was incorporated in 1826. That's amazing. And on the back side of the tavern, okay, yeah. I was like, I think this is the alleyway right here to the right where Steve and Jonathan have the fight, but now we know Stranger Things, season one, episode six, the monster, Jonathan and Steve alley fight scene. That's so cool how they did that. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's true. It's been very easy to find these locations today. I think these are some of the most visited locations that ever. I do a lot, and, and to be honest with you, one reason I haven't been out here is just because I know, I mean, they're out there. Like, there are so many videos out there, and I love the show so much that I just kind of like didn't want to rush out here. It kind of took my time getting here. Here we go. Yeah, this is the fight scene alley. Oh, super cool. I'll find a screenshot or something, I'm sure. Okay, so I actually pulled up the scene on YouTube. This is the beginning. 
right there to the right of Nancy, you see that post? Right there, you see that? It's got an odd shape and an odd coloration. Right there. So the fight was right here, and look, you just noticed it. They've marked it again, right here in the alleyway. That's pretty cool. Okay, so the fight actually takes place in this area. I'll play a little bit on my phone for you real time here. Yeah, all the AC units are the same. Like, that's looking back that way. Yeah, this is all in there. Jonathan's about to throw this punch. Nancy behind her. You can see this, the railing, the deck. Also the coloration of the brick to the right of Nancy there. Check this out. Right there and there. That's super cool. And then the reverse angle. Steve right there. See this ledge right here, this loading dock? Check this out. Right here. Super cool. You make out all of this. Hasn't changed much. This was eight years ago. 2016, almost eight years ago. Incredible. Season one. You know, we've seen quite a few folks come and do the same thing we're doing. Some people over there taking pictures. Not a filming location, but right down from the Hawk Theater in the State Farm Building. Check this out. Everyone is celebrating Stranger Things in Jackson. I'm sure State Farm can tell us a lot about some strange things. <laughs> Welcome to Hawkins, where we always have Christmas lights. So we're looking for Melvard's, the store where Joyce worked, and we kind of walked right by and didn't realize it. It's to the right of the Radio Shack. So this is the next filming location right here. We're gonna go right over there. So it's where the Papa John's is. Papa John, yeah, it is. Gotcha. It's where the, that must be a new Papa John's. Okay, the reason I didn't realize it, I see it now, but the facade has been painted, it's totally changed. And yes, they have added a Papa John's to the right. Welcome to Joyce's workplace. Now the awning said Melvalds, that's the store name, the former store name in Stranger Things. This is where Joyce worked. And one of my favorite scenes is in season one when Joyce comes back to work to find the phone to communicate to Will and she goes in there and buys the phone. That's a really good scene and Joyce and Jonathan's argument which was like right out here on the sidewalk all right second street in mulberry jonathan and joyce have that argument like basically all the way down the sidewalk they come from that area i don't know if they show the exterior of the morgue but it's right after the morgue scene with will and you know jonathan's like thinking his mom's really crazy at that point also there is another marker right here melvold general store so it's been halved. So technically, I think this was all one unit. But over here, let's see what it looks like inside here. Oh yeah, it's been gutted. But right in there, that's where the cash register was. It was like center. And that's where Joyce bought the phone to communicate to Will. That was a crazy scene. Look at that. Five o'clock, we finished at five o'clock. Missed the first ring there was there's gonna be five and right tucked away here on mulberry kind of circa yeah right there surfer boy pizza right by the stranger things store this awesome mural just tucked away all the characters this is cool we gotta get of uh we've got to give credit where credit is due oh i see more stuff hold on okay there's the artist wellensart.com now look over here now that could very well be, and I'm gonna go out on a limb here, that is the screen used Radio Shack sign from Stranger Things. I am doing that because it is the same size of the sign, the current sign over the location right there where the escape game is. It's gotta be, right? What are the odds, right? They've got all the posters here too. That's flippin' cool. And just like that, that was the town of Hawkins, Indiana. We hit all the locations we wanted to see today as far as Hawkins and Stranger Things. Again, not did not show the mall, Starcourt Mall, I've shown that before. Also, the Stranger Things uh, pool from season three, I've shown that before as well, and the 7-Eleven. There were a, 
a kind kind of a couple things that I could have shown, like the restaurant from episode or uh, episode one or eleven uh, steals the French fries. There's a, a few things, but eventually, maybe one day I'll see all of those. But today, you saw Hawkins, Indiana. Love the colors here too. Look at the fall. And just like that, we are at Bucky's. Fueling up with fuel and snacks. Nice little end to this Stranger Things pilgrimage. Look at gas, $2.46. That's the cheapest fill up, officially my cheapest fill up in like, I don't know, can't remember when. That's cheap for us in 2023. Back in 1983, that would have been really expensive. Good old Bucky. All right guys, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe below if it was your first time. If you like filming locations, check out my filming locations playlist located on the main page of my YouTube channel. And if you're a Stranger Things fan, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was your first time living through these locations vicariously, I really hope you enjoyed it. We had a great time today. I've knocked off a lot on my bucket list being a huge fan of the show, finally it went down and there's so much many to see throughout my journeys through atlanta we're always coming and going all the time i look forward to showing more and again if you want to see the locations i went to starcourt mall the 7-eleven and the hawkins pool i'll put a link below below the video so you can go check that out also we are here at bucky's chris the girl just went inside there and created her video so go make sure you check that one out too. There'll be a link uh, pinned there to her video so you can check out our adventure inside of Bucky's. You can see over, uh, let's put it this way. We just dropped over a hundred bucks in there, didn't we? Yeah, we did. You can see that stuff in there. So appreciate you guys always joining. If it was your first time here, please feel free to come on back, subscribe below. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and that's it. We got to head home. We got a five hour journey to home. I'm going to edit this video tonight. And then we gotta wake up and go to our job. So we got a five hour journey ahead of us and uh, work tomorrow. So that's how it goes. We love vlogging, it's our hobby, it's our passion. And we get little time to do so sometimes, but you know, we make it happen because we enjoy it. And we love you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. All right, did I tell them that they were awesome? I can't remember. I honestly don't remember either. Just say it again if you did. You're awesome, you're loved, and no matter who you are, what you're going through, there's always much ahead. It's not just a statement, it's a way of life. You know what else is a way of life? Bucky's. You nailed it. Bye, Bucky. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.